just to get back to the, the sports angle, is there someone that you have not interviewed over the years that you would... Yeah, I, I would like to interview Babe Ruth. I mean, I, I think that would be really cool to talk to a guy who, you know, didn't use steroids and ate hot dogs and beer as his nourishment and who was charismatic and essentially made the game of baseball. I think that'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to talk to Ty Cobb, a racist, uh, who was a, the greatest hitter of, of, our, of our lifetime to see what really made him tick and to get under his skin a little bit. As far as current athletes that I haven't interviewed, there's probably some guys out there, but I've interviewed most of the stars from Gretzky to Tiger to, to, to Federer to, to Nadal to whoever it might be, you know, to, to Eli, to Peyton, to all the, the, the Knicks and the legends of the game. So it's not like I've – and all the athletes – from, from Phelps to Spitz to, to those guys. I, I think the ones that I'd really like to interview are the ones that can't be interviewed anymore, you know? So where do you see your career in 10 years from now? I don't know. The industry's changing. You know, there's much more of an accent on the web. There's much more accent on, on you know, back and forth interactive stuff. But I'd like to be in sports broadcasting of some sort. I'd like to be writing. Uh, I've been writing a lot of stuff that's – you know, for WNBC on the, on the web. Um, I still can see myself doing news. I like doing play-by-play. -play. I like doing interviews. Something in broadcasting, something dealing with sports. That's, that's my strength. That's my area of expertise. I mean, I know I could be a salesman if I had to. I, I think I could talk the, the Pope into being Jewish if I had to. But what I want to do is what I always wanted to do as a kid. It was, it was like a dream come true. I wanted to play in the NBA. But I wasn't big enough, fast enough, or, you know, tall enough in any way. So I, I chose sports casting. It's a vicarious thrill. I think something in sports, if you can do something you love, then you're golden.